This is my Neela WKR771 washing machine. Just a general video review to help answer some questions about the machine and in particular the twin DOS system which I've had on some of my other videos. I guess the first thing to start with is that I really like the machine. I've owned it for about 18 months now and it is fantastic. It is quietly efficient, it's very quiet even after 18 months of use. There's usually a honeymoon period I've found with other washing machines, but this is virtually still as quiet as the day it was delivered. I find the build quality exceptional. There's no sort of loose plastic bits which make a noise. And above all, it washes very, very well. It's by far the best machine I've ever owned. And while I know the price point is higher than a lot of the other machines on the market, I do believe it is well, well worth that. Um, I do like the classic Nina styling. Obviously, I've had other machines with dark window glass and blue lights, um, but I really feel that this will probably stand the test of time and always look kind of modern, but with a slight retro feel. It's fairly easy to use. One thing I do love about this machine though is that it comes with a wealth of programs and within every program a wealth of options through either the program manager and the further options. So you can really tailor every program to any specific article of clothing or soft furnishing. If I'm honest, I think nine kilos is probably a bit too big because of the fact that with all the specialized programs, you do find that you end up separating a lot of stuff out. So really for the large capacity, I guess I'd only use it for towels, which as you can see over here, I'm quite behind in today. You can use traditional detergent. So it's got the traditional drawer for your pre-wash and your main and obviously all the additives. In here is where you'd be adding the caps which I have a few samples of over here, or it acts as your conditioner compartment. I haven't used so many of the caps, some of them, particularly the wool one, is quite good, but I feel to use a cap because they're single use for fabric conditioner is probably a little too excessive. What I especially love is the drum light. I wish more machines had it. It really is fantastic, obviously, in, you know, any dimly lit kitchen it really ensures that you don't leave anything behind in the drum. Down here is the filters. So there's a filter for each pump. So I believe that one is the recirculation pump, which sprays out of this nozzle here in the door seal. And this one is obviously the main pump. This is the twin DOS compartment, and which I'll hopefully explain in this video today because I've had a lot of questions about it. So here are the empty containers. And in here is compartment one and compartment two for the twin DOS system. So with the twin DOS system and the conventional system, you can really use a wealth of detergents. So I've been using powder for the last couple of weeks. If I'm honest, I am probably now biased. I would say that the twin dust system really is the best. It just brightens clothes up, particularly whites, really well. So as you can see here, I ordered some online and I've recently taken a delivery. Um, so I think I will probably carry on using the twin dust system because it really does get clothes the cleanest and the brightest that I've ever seen. You can still go ahead and use your additives, your specialist detergents, like I use Woolite for some walls here obviously normal fabric conditioner, and as I explained a little earlier, the caps. So the twin DOS system, I think you really need to understand that it is geared up for the Miele system. So component one over here is just a normal detergent. Component two is an oxygen bleach. And what you'll find is that you'll end up using more of component one than you will of component two. The machine automatically works out when it's gonna add component two. If you're washing whites, it's obviously going to add a lot more. If you're washing colours, I think it adds a bit, but not very much. And again, within the stains option here, available on most programmes, it will adjust the ratio of oxygen bleach to get rid of fruit stains or blood or grass or anything like that. So I guess the main question I've been asked is whether you can use your own detergents in the Miele Twin DOS system. You can. Obviously, these have to be liquid-based. These are the refillable containers, which don't come with the machine. You have to buy them separately. And you can just open the cap there, and within the machine electronics program how much it needs to dispense 
for every cycle. I've been using liquid surf and fabric conditioner for about the past month. It's worked fairly well, but like I say, I really do think the Miele Twin Boss system is the best. Um, it's a shame, perhaps, it's not a three component system because it would be nice to have an extra container for fabric conditioner. But I tend to use different fabric conditioners, so I guess that does give a bit of flexibility. So today I'm actually going to be putting the Twin DOS system back into the machine with component one or two, and I'll show you within that how you adjust the settings. But there wouldn't be anything to stop you, say, having a colour detergent in component one, and maybe a white detergent or a woolen detergent in component two. What I have found with using my own detergents, however, is that the Twin DOS system is really geared up to be using the Miele system. So on some of the programs, it will actually not let you choose the detergent that you put in. So for instance, I've just put those empty containers back. As far as the machine's aware, it's still got surf and fabric conditioner in there. If I turn that on, so on a delicates program, if I press DOS, normal swaying, you can see it's only giving me the option for fabric conditioner because I have called one universal detergent and it obviously thinks that it can't use universal detergent on the delicate cycle. Whereas when I insert both cartridge one and two, I can use the twin DOS system on this. So there's a bit of restriction there, but certainly nothing to stop you using your own detergents or a combination thereof. I found a sort of universal detergent and fabric conditioner the best, but there's no reason that you couldn't have a whites or a coloured liquids detergent in there or something for wool or something for delicates. Obviously though you have to tell the machine what you've got in there so if you did have a wool detergent say it wouldn't probably let you choose them for any of the other programs. Before changing the detergent Mila highly recommend that you do flush the system with the twin DOS maintenance. As I've just had that container back in there and it had a bit of fabric softener I am just going to go ahead and flush compartment two. You need one of the empty containers which I've just filled with some water and just insert that. In the system electronics there is a twin DOS maintenance cycle which is about eight minutes. I think actually it's going to ask me to put the container in. So Department two, start program. So it wants you to have inserted the container, it thinks the old container's still in there, so if we just take that out and put it back in, it now wants me to close the door. And I can go ahead and start the cycle. So the door locks, nothing really happens in the drum but you might be able to hear that ticking. That's just the component two pump, just drawing in water. And I'll do that for about eight minutes, just to flush through the system. I guess that water then goes into the drum, so at the end of this cycle, it just drains out and fills up with a bit of water. With the cleaning cycle complete, I'm going to go ahead and put the component one and component two containers into the twin loss compartment. I've just got to take those orange caps off. This detergent has a slight smell, but you really do, I found, need some fabric conditioner or maybe even the tumble dry flak on just to give your clothes a bit of fragrance. Um, I guess in the beauty of the system, they've tried to make it as hypoallergenic as possible so it doesn't have any fragrance. So, component one, and this just clicks in, and component two, and this clicks in as well.
Now, we need to adjust the machine settings to tell it that it has the Twindos component 1 and component 2 in it again. So, over into the settings, Twindos, detergent type and amount. So, as you can see, these are the ones I set up previously, which I'm now going to change. So, in container 1, it's got a whole range of options here. So, as I said before, you could change it for colour detergent or your delicates or wool bearing in mind that's going to restrict you. So, this is Miele Ultra Phase 1. We'll say OK. I'm going to return back to the factory default, despite the fact I have very hard line scale water, which is 60 mils, according to the manual. Press OK. Now, it wants settings for Ultra Phase 2. Again, I'm going to go by what the default with the manual came with, and that is indeed 45 mil. So with those both changed, we should be back in business. Now that I've got the Miele Ultra Phase 1 and 2 detergents back in the Twindos system, I'm going to put on a load of bed linen and towels and just run through how I would customise that programme to make it more suitable for what I'm washing. I'm going to use the Cottons program because that's the full 9 kilos available there and the bed linen and towels are cotton. The degree of soiling query always comes up, you can turn that off. I like it however because not every laundry load has the same degree of soiling. I'm going to say that's very heavily soiled and that will automatically add a pre-wash. Because the Ultra Phase 1 and 2 are back in the machine now, it's querying whether we have coloreds or whites loaded. And as you can see, there's a bit of a long time there for the cycle. This is due to the echo setting for the temperature, so I'm going to take that to a normal 6 degrees, and that's brought the temperature right down. Because these are towels and bed linen, I'm going to just go into the program manager here and add some options. Intensive and extra gentle vary the drum rotation. I haven't used the echo setting, but that would reduce water and energy consumption. Extra quiet would be good at night, I think that reduces the spin speed. And Allergia Wash, which is the one I am going to use, adds a steam function to the end of the cycle to relax the fibres, as well as adding a really good rinse, so that really takes away any detergent residue, which is something you don't really want um, if you have sensitive skin on your towels or your bed linen. Also within the further options here, I'm going to add Water Plus, which increases the wash and rinse water levels. Again, I just feel that towels and bed linen really do need a good pummel in lots of water. So there we go, that's how I would customise the cotton cycle, just to make it a bit more powerful, I guess, to be washing something very heavily soiled, such as towels and bed linen. Once the cycle started, you can actually save this so you can go back into your favourites anytime and reselect that for the next time you're washing bed linen or towels. On this side of the control panel, there's further options for every cycle. Steam you can add to most cycles, but it does reduce how much washing you can load. If I select this for cotton, say, it's now reduced the spin speed and it's taken it down from 9 kilos to 4.5. The steam on this machine isn't ready for cleanliness, it's more for reducing wrinkles out of the laundry load. Short reduces the overall wash time, so if I press that now, you can see that it's taken that down quite significantly. I have noticed though on the cotton and minimum iron programs, if the load is small, it will actually reduce the time on its own. The stains option is brilliant, there's a load of stain options which you can add and it will generally get those out of the clothing very well. I've used this with some grass stains and some wine stains and it works very well indeed without the need to add extra detergent enhancers. This particular model has the steam generator in it. Um, it's used with the steam smoothing option mainly and really as opposed to the LG which I used to own, the steam is more for 
releasing wrinkles than it is for anything to do with cleaning in this machine. Which is no bad thing. I found the shirts program is very good. It does certainly reduce the wrinkles out of my shirt. Not fully. I think for some occasions I would probably still iron my shirt. But certainly for everyday work where giving the shirts a bit of a steam before drying them certainly does help with reducing wrinkles. The dedicated steam care program here is for articles of clothing which are already wet. So I guess maybe you wash something and you now want to reduce the creases, you could stick it in that cycle. Over here in the further programs, there is Freshen Up, which again is more akin to my previous LG machine, where you can actually put dry garments in there and it'll steam them for about 20 minutes and freshen them up nicely. I have to say the steam generator on this Miele is a lot more furtive than the LG and it produces a lot of steam and really gets things nice and fresh.